as a top three pick in the NBA draft. Oakland showing a lot of love for star R.J. Barrett. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, Oakland showing R.J. the love. We, we want him on the East Coast in New York. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Before we get into the draft, though, I want to ask you about the series. Who do you have winning now? I'm from Toronto. I still got the Raptors. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> KD's very unguardable, but I still got to stick it out my raps. All right, fair enough. I'm not knocking him for that. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. So, uh, uh, let's get right to it here. Uh, you know, they've got you projected as the number three overall pick in the upcoming NBA draft. That pick belongs to the New York Knicks. <laughs> I mean, are you ready? Are you ready? to handle New York City. Do you understand the expectations for a number three overall pick? Hey, if it happens, I'm, I'm definitely ready. Why? Why should New Yorkers, they're, what, they're looking yeah. at you right now. They're looking at you right now. Why should New Yorkers, we know you can ball. Yeah. You know you didn't, listen, this, this show is allergic to scrubs. Scrubs are not allowed on this show. Yeah. So if you couldn't play, you wouldn't be here, okay? We know you can ball. But New York is a different beast. So New Yorkers are looking at you right now. Mm -hmm. Why should New Yorkers, what is it about you, your game, yeah. what you bring it to the next level that New Yorkers should look forward to? Biggest thing is my confidence. I'm built for this. I've been working since I was young. So I'm not really worried. OK. So there's a lot of talk, RJ. Works with me. <laughs> and, and by the way, your game to me translates better as a pro than it did even in college. I expect you to have a fantastic career. Um, but, but, and there's a long way to go between now and then. I realize a lot of work to do. But everyone's projecting you to go to the Knicks. But the Knicks are trying to land Anthony Davis in a mm. trade. Yeah. So let's take both scenarios. Mm. Number one, you're in New York. They don't land Anthony Davis. They don't sign any of the big free agents. But they have a core of Dennis Smith Jr. and Knox and you. And what's your thoughts about developing with a young core if they strike out in free agency and they don't trade for AD? What's your thoughts about that? Man, that'd be great. We'd be playing together in the garden, you know, just trying to, just trying to get better, really. Like you said, young core group of guys. So that, that would be fun. What's your feeling about Knox and Smith when you look at their games? I played against Kevin Knox, you know, growing up. He's, he's a really good guy. I mean, cool cat, and he can shoot that thing. And, yeah, man, it would be great to play with him. And if, in fact, you get dealt to New Orleans yeah. and link back up with Zion, but on the one hand, everyone's, that's amazing. On the other hand, you guys were thought to have underachieved this last year mm. come essentially playoff time. What yeah. are your thoughts if you wind up in New Orleans with your former running mate? That's great, too. I'll be back with my boy, you know. That's my partner in crime, and we'd be back together, so that'd be cool, too. Is that your way of saying that it makes no difference to you whether you're in New Orleans <laughs> or New York? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, yeah, like, I'm, I'll be in the league. That was always my dream, so I don't care. He's saying he's going to ball regardless. I understand. I, understand. I like that answer. No, 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 no. You know, that, that's nice. All right, let me get to some other, some other stuff. See, when I look at your game, I like your game. You can ball. You can put the ball in the hole. You're not scared. You defend. You like the big moments. I respect that. I do have a question about your ability to be ambidextrous. Mm. That right hand, to me, the days of a guy like a Clyde Drexler who was a one-armed bandit or, you know, you look at a Julius Randle. Julius Randle can ball, but, you know, he's, going, back. he's going left. He's going left. That's what you hear people say all the time. Are you concerned at all that that's what people are saying about you? And if so, what are you doing about it? Can I tell you something? Sure. I'm actually right-handed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can say it. Excuse me. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. I did not know that. I appreciate that. But I don't give a damn. Because <laughs> I, when I watch you play, you're always using your left. You're so right. what I'm saying to you is, fine. Well, then talk to me about why you don't use your right more when you're playing. Because I didn't see that. Uh -huh. And I watched you a lot this year, yeah. and I saw you ball. Mm. But I want, I want you to talk about that and what you think you're going to do on the next level with that. One, I think I became a top pick with that left. 
And then the other thing is, there's always time to work. I'm only 18. I'm working on my right every day. Okay. So, yeah. All right. What about speaking of working on? I'm good with that. You're right. I'm good with that. <laughs> you guys are. Right. You, the one and duns are so young when they get to the league. There's very little patience, though. Mm -hmm. Like you look at. D'Angelo Russell, he's an all-star, but people thought he was a bust. Lonzo Ball, I'm hearing, this man, run Lonzo Ball down. I think Lonzo Ball is going to be a fantastic player. But he's not! But he's a <laughs> No, he's a very good player already. Yeah! But he's a baby still. He's now, are you concerned at all, particularly in a market like New York, if you wind up sticking with the – if they don't move you, that – People are going to look at you like, I'm not trying to hear that he's 18, 19. Mm. He's the number three pick. What right. are your thoughts about how to handle that? I feel like, you know, definitely being a Duke this year definitely is going to help um, everything that, you know, we went through. And also, I don't care what people say. Like, I don't care. You play <laughs> like you don't care what people say. You heard in the montage, well, when he plays, he always feels like he's the best let, player on the court. Let me tell you what I love about the guy. I love the fact that you don't care. Why? Because I see it on the court. You go on the court and you go after it. I see a guy in Lonzo Ball. I'm not disagreeing with Max about his potential. My issue with Lonzo Ball has nothing to do with his talent. It's that as the number two overall pick, he is perfectly content mm -hmm. with dribbling the ball past half court, handing it to somebody else and going to hide in the corner. Now, at least give me that much. I don't have to worry about that with you, do I? Nah, I'm there. Thank you very <laughs> right. much. Let me just say this Thank before we much. go to break. If there are any concerns about R.J. Barrett handling the New York media, this is quite the litmus test because he just did very well uh, with you two right here, and it doesn't get much tougher than he did. them. He did, <laughs> but I will be quick. watching, and I expect big things from him.